if you go on Google and type how to lose 30 pounds of body fat in the next 4 to 5 months, all you're going to see them talk about is the amount of calories you need to burn to lose a certain amount of body fat. Why this is not completely false? What I'm going to tell you is that there are other factors that affect your body's ability to burn body fat and these factors are barely even talked about but they have a huge impact on our body's ability to burn body fat. In this video, I'm going to share with you 5 underrated fat loss tips that are barely talked about and has a very huge impact on your body's ability to burn body fat. And if you start paying attention to the 5 tips that I'm going to mention in this video, you are going to see a very huge decrease in your total body fat percentage. The first one is walking. This is one of the most sustainable form of cardio. Just by walking on a daily basis, you are going to increase your total energy expenditure which is going to help you burn more calories. There has been a study conducted on two different groups. One group was placed on a low caloric diet and the other group was placed on a low caloric diet with walking. At the end of 12 weeks, both groups were able to lose the same amount of weight on the scale but the group that was placed on a low caloric diet with walking lost about 6.12 kilograms of fat mass in the process. The general rule of thumb is to walk for at least 200 minutes in a week. This could translate to you walking for 30 minutes every single day. Just by incorporating walking into your daily activity, you'll be able to increase your total daily energy expenditure, which is going to translate to you burning more calories effortlessly during the day. So instead of living a lifestyle where you're going from your house to your car, from your car to work, sitting at work for 8 to 10 hours, hopping back into your car, coming back home, you can incorporate just walking to your daily activity. This is not only going to help you boost your cardiovascular health, but also increase your daily energy expenditure, which is going to help you burn a lot of body fat. The second underrated fat loss tips is to swap out all the processed food with whole foods. This is going to make a very significant change to your total daily caloric intake. Imagine you have 100 grams of chicken breast and 100 grams of Milka Oreo chocolate. 100 grams of Milka chocolate Oreo contains about 565 calories. That is almost five times the amount of calories that you're going to get from consuming 100 grams of chicken breast. This is why it's always advisable to swap out all the processed or sugary foods that you're eating and focus on eating more whole foods. That way you're going to consume way more calories, more quantity of food and high nutrient dense food. This will help keep you satiated longer during the day. If you are stuck on eating a lot of processed food, the sugar that you get from processed foods increase the cravings that you're going to have during the day. This is going to make you crave more sugary food. This is also going to keep you hungry all the time and that way you're going to struggle with overeating. Most times when you feel like you're hungry, you're not really hungry, you're just feeling like you are hungry and that feeling can be caused sometimes by excess sugar from processed food. Just by limiting the amount of processed food that you consume on a daily basis, this can drive down your cravings, this can help keep you satiated longer and also decrease your total daily caloric intake. The third underrated fat loss tips is strength training. Have you ever wondered why some people eat so much and still manage to stay lean and be in good shape all year round? It is because they spend time building a lot of muscle mass that their body requires a lot of food to maintain. There is a popular saying that we are not obese or fat, we are just under muscled. You see, after six months of weightlifting, your body is going to require more food to sustain the muscles that you built. We've all been stuck on the numbers on the scale, focusing on how much calories that we can burn on a daily basis. But if we can shift our mindset from what we can burn to what we can actually build, that is from burning a lot of calories to actually building a lot of muscle mass, that is going to help you lose more body fat in the long term and also be able to keep it out without having a rebound. Because what you don't understand is that even if you go on a caloric deficit, you lose a lot of weight, you lose a lot of muscle mass and you lose a lot of fat mass also in the process. At the end of the day, when you stop being so active, you're going to have a likelihood of gaining all those weight and body fat that you dropped back. But if you focus more on building a lot of muscle mass, even if you become inactive for a period of time due to some circumstances that you might not be able to control, your muscle mass is also going to help preserve your weight and prevent you from gaining all those weights that you lost back. So shifting your mindset from losing weight and body fat to building a lot of muscle could be a more sustainable approach to lose body fat and keep it off for the long run. Using cardio as a fat loss too is like spending your last money in the strip club. Eventually all that money will finish and you become broke. But focusing on building a reasonable amount of muscle first is like investing your money on a business that will make you a lot more money and then you can go spend the profits on the strip club. That way it feels like you're spending from your reserve. You can never totally go broke. 
But if you focus on doing a lot of cardio, you're spending the money that you have and eventually you're going to hit a brick wall and you probably have no more money left to spend. That is when you hit a plateau. Now, enough of the strip club analogy, but strength training puts your body in a fat burning stage even 24 hours after training. This can help improve your metabolic health in the long run and we all know that a very poor or slow metabolism is the reason why a lot of people find it difficult to lose body fat. A study shows that strength training is the most effective way to lose body fat and keep it up forever. So if you want to change your body composition, focus more on using strength training to build more muscle and incorporate cardio to improve your cardiovascular health and help you burn more calories. The fourth underrated fat loss tips is having a high protein intake. I know you must have been wondering, what is the hype about protein? Well, let me explain to you. You remember when we said building a lot of muscle mass is the key to long-term sustainable fat loss and metabolic health. Now you can be going to the gym doing all the mechanical work of tearing your muscles down every single day. But what is actually going to prompt the repair and the growth of those muscles is protein. Protein is the most important macronutrient for fat loss because a high daily protein intake will not only boost your metabolism but also reduce your hunger hormones which is going to keep you satiated longer and control your cravings. The study was conducted on the two groups of obese people. One was placed on a high protein diet and the other group was placed on a low protein diet for 12 weeks. And it was discovered that the group that was placed on a high protein diet consumed less daily calories than the group that was placed on a low protein diet. And also the group that was placed on a high protein diet were able to lose 1.64 kilograms of weight in 3 weeks. Just by having a high daily protein intake, you can actually cut your daily calories and also be able to lose body fat. Protein has a high thermic effect on food. This is the amount of calories that your body requires to actually metabolize and digest food. And your body requires about 30% of your calories to digest protein. The more protein you consume, the more calories required to digest and metabolize them. Also, protein keeps you satiated longer which can reduce your cravings and late night snacking. Study shows that men and women had 60% reduction in cravings and desire for late night snacking when they consumed more high protein meal during the day. So a simple trick is to start your breakfast with a high protein meal. This can help you keep the cravings away and also keep you satiated longer during the day. So now the big question is how much protein do we need on a daily basis? You need at least 0.6 gram of protein per pound of body mass. Let's say you're 165 pounds, you need at least 0.6 gram of protein for each pound of body mass. That would equate to you consuming 100 grams of protein daily. And if you can stick to hitting your protein target on a daily basis, this can help you build more lean muscle mass and the more lean muscle mass you build, the more you improve your metabolic health and the more fat that you'll be able to lose in the long run. The fifth underrated fat loss tips is stress management. You can be doing everything right from strength training, having a high protein intake, high daily energy expenditure, but if you don't figure out how to manage stress, this can actually hinder your fat loss journey. If you're constantly going to the gym, going through a high intensity workout, being on a caloric deficit and not getting adequate sleep, this is going to cause a rise in your stress hormone called the cortisol level. Instead of your body to actually keep shedding those body fats, it's going to start holding on to the body fat. This is when your body goes into survival mode. Your body will start sending signals of being highly stressed and this can manifest itself in different ways. If you're doing everything right and you hit a plateau in your fat loss journey, simply paying attention to how stressed you are at the moment could help you break that plateau. When your stress level is being raised, this is going to lead to poor sleep, which is going to lead you to poor recovery after your workout, which is also going to lead you to increased cravings the next day which will lead you to making bad food choices. If you're constantly having increased cravings, the chances that you're going to make bad food choices is on the high side. When you keep going through the process of high intensity workouts, poor recovery, being in a caloric deficit and getting no sleep at all, your stress hormone is going to be on the rise and instead of your body to be losing body fat at that point, it's going to hold on to any bit of fat that it has. This is when your body goes into survival mode and this will start affecting your workout sessions, your energy level is going to drop, you're going to notice a significant decrease in your strength. Most times all we need is just adequate sleep. So getting at least 8 hours of sleep is mandatory if you want to control the stress level. Whenever you're going through a stressful period, the best thing to do is to adjust your workouts accordingly. You could decrease intensity, you could go on a deload week, you could actually take a mental break from your diet until you get out of that stressful phase of your life. The whole idea of calories in, calories out, burning a lot of calories, focusing on the weight on the scale and trying to lose as much weight as you can in a short period of time is not totally false but I'm here to tell you that it is not the only factor you should consider during your fat loss phase. 
all these underrated tips play a very huge impact on your body's ability to lose body fat so whenever you hit a plateau in your fat loss journey you should go through all of these stages and make sure that you are ticking the boxes on all of these tips this can help you break that plateau and continue losing a lot of body fat in the